you're having trouble with your Google Chrome. Hi everyone, this is Carol Brightbill. Let me show you how to resolve these issues. These five steps will work on a Chromebook or on a computer. The first recommended step is to clear your cache and cookies. And let me show you how to do that. I'm going to go to the three dots in the upper right corner and I'm going to go to history and I will slide over to where it says history. From here, I can clear my browsing data. This is where you can choose the last hour, 24 hours. I always choose all time. You can choose browsing history, cookies, and other site data because that can conflict with what you are doing, cached images and files. When you go over to the advanced side, this is where you can see you can save your passwords and autofill. You don't have to remove that. Step number two would be to make sure that your Chrome is up to date. You want to go to the three dots again, and you want to go down to where it says settings. Go over to the left-hand menu and go down to where it says about Chrome. This will tell you if your version is up to date, and it will automatically update your version if it is not. When it's done updating, it will say relaunch, and then you will have the latest version of Chrome. Another recommended thing to do in step three is to go in what is called incognito mode. You go to the three dots, and here, the third item down, it says new incognito window. When you go incognito, it removes a lot of the history, a lot of the cookies, and it makes for an easier experience to go into a website. The fourth step I would recommend would be to go into your extensions. You go to the three dots again, and we're going to go down to where it says more tools. Here's how you can enter your extensions. You can see all the extensions that you have loaded. From here, you can remove that extension. You can turn the extension off if you don't want it on. Extensions can interfere with what you're doing. And the fifth and final thing I want to show you what would interfere with your Chrome is if you have too many tabs open. Too many tabs meaning continually opening up a website and not closing it. The extension I recommend for you to get if you are someone who works off of a lot of tabs is something called one tab. I have one tab installed. I'll show you in my extensions. Here's one tab. Let me turn it on. Now one tab will show up under the puzzle piece and when I select one tab it takes all of those tabs that I had open and converts them down to hyperlinks so you really only have one browser tab open and you can just click on any of the hyperlinks to go to where you want to go. Hope you enjoyed this short video and I hope it helps to resolve any of the issues that you're having in Chrome. Have a great day everyone.